Hey guys, before the video starts, I have a very important question for you guys because I know you guys love the Solo the Champion series that we started recently. And also, I love filming these and I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying them. Now, I want you guys in the comments to help me below, help me improve this series so me and my team can help make these videos better for you guys to learn and overall more entertaining for you guys. I'm gonna give you guys three different uh, questions and I want you in the comments below to either say that number and elaborate a little bit more but the first thing is, would you guys rather have the educational commentary, a full unedited game, similar to how the Soul of the Diamond series was, where, you know, I keep the drone phase, I keep all the, the space in there whenever I'm talking to get you guys that, uh, like, you know, real game feel of what to do? Or would you guys rather number two, which is I would show the highlights at the beginning, which we've been trying, as you guys can see in the first two episodes, we would show the highlights in the beginning. And then we would go over the match replay. So we would go over the match replay and that's where most of the explaining would be. That way I can focus on the game and also have like more commentary come to my head in the match replay. Now the third comment there is, this one is actually, it's the, still the full game, but I'm actually voicing over that game as if I were to do a live. But this way I'm able to focus on the game while being able to explain my thoughts more clearly without, you know, missing that uh, round to round feel of seeing my death, you know, the dead space in the round, how to handle that sort of times. So thank you guys for, you know, sticking around with me the intro. I'll get you the video now. But let me know one, two, or three and elaborate and help me and the community build this video series to be better. I love you guys. Enjoy the video. I'm picking break. You left. All right, don't run out on me, please. Uh, there's just a mute jammer on the wall we can get. Well, Mai's inside us. You see he has a rotate in the break. That's the one Mai. That's one Mai. Nice. Um, it's one shield. Oh my god, it's a 4v1 already. What the heck? I'm covering small of this. Sheesh. Damn, my team is cracked. Armory is clear. You can enter armory. Archives is also clear. Watch your top metal. One CC. Alright. Yo, office is clear. He, he's just in TC then. All top of floor is clear. Just go for CC then. Cut off his rotate if you can. He, he might have dropped to Ash. Yeah, East yeah. is also clear. Ash. East is clear. Alright, look. Looks like their bathroom. Can someone uh, watch 90 flank? Playing from what? East or nine or metal? Uh, metal. I want to start making vertical on site. Alright, I'll do it. Dead. One's up, so. What? I'm gonna rotate. He's low. Yeah. Ah! You can't escape the hot potatoes. Ah, fair enough. I mean, yeah, Q times are slow tonight. I think it's okay though. Yeah. CC is clear. Break is also clear. I'll leave us a flank cam for our east. Oh, you're already here. Oh, we don't have a heart reacher. 
Yeah, we're gonna need to hit uh, office. We don't have a hard breacher. Unless I'm able to just big ball it down here. Yeah, There's big ball office. It. One thing, office hatch is also open. Fountain clear. Yeah. Step on armor door. Alright. Smoke dead. Small office clear. Armory clear. Armory clear. Okay. I think they're gonna come up metal then. Metal, metal, metal. He's in small. Oh. Oh no, he's not. He's dead. He's dead. Dude, how am I still getting smoked? Dude, how long does this smoke last? He's in archives. Bro, that smoke lasted for so long. We can get the bomb he's down. 50. Stay alive, Ash. That's crazy, dude. I thought it was gonna not last that long. I have ice to nice. Huh? I'm not really into any like League of Legends or like any kind of uh, MOBA. Is, is that what it's called, MOBA? I don't know, I'm not too sure. Maybe a story game. Maybe like uh, Spider-Man, Batman. You know. I'm not too sure what, it, what the deal is. Oh, why'd you do it? What? Oh, jeez, I thought he died. Oh, dude. Kinda got sidetracked right there. Wait, does it not res me? Wait, do, do Thunderbirds not res me anymore? Oh, what? Oh, I got picked up, okay. Wait, do they go to Alibi or what kinda happened there? I don't even see that guy on my screen. I kind of got thrown off by those, um, those charges. Hello, can you open hatch? Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, know your role, mute. <laughs> <laughs> the average life of a shotgun. All right, guys, it's uh, halfway into the round. I'm done setting up. Oh, I'm dead. Hopefully, don't get me here. Running CC? Sports games? Uh, I don't know about sports games. I feel like he's outside holding the hammer out. One outside armory. Outside archive. Not dead. So he's just twenty five. Oh, he's bottom metal. I track. Damn, my team just died so quickly there. I wonder where they're coming in from. Dude, what? Wait, was the barricade open there? I just checked it. Oh, that's so unlucky timing. That's really unlucky timing. I just checked if the east balcony was open. I went to go. They're not coming up top yet. I think they're all inside main door right now. They're pushing main door hard. 
I have the hatch from above. Well. They have a shield. Can you send my 90 cam Oryx? Good also. Nice. That was one outside main. There's one fence. One's detention. Detention and vents? Okay. I think we're good here. In me. Could be bottom metal. Yeah. Bottom metal. I can hold on to passport for us. Okay. Hallway door. Hallway door. Damn. Coming it's down. Workshop. He's, he's, he's uh, cloning from... Uh, Passport. Also, it's passport or customs. Case and workshop. Yeah, case and workshop. You guys have the lobby cam? No. no. He's bought a metal. A metal door. Yeah, if you can just hide, I have first contact. Fusers on the rotator workshop to bathroom. Hey, what are my settings? What? Oh. Gotta forget my button for a second. He's in, in workshop. workshop. Grabbing the fuser. Is there a rotator into the bathroom? Here. Yes. Yeah. 15 seconds. Good job. Any tests for solo queuing? Just focus on your your gameplay try not to worry too much about what your teammates are doing if you can play off of them but you know try to play a little bit safer with your drones and just pick someone that you you know you can get like a job done with you know it's kind of you just play whatever your team needs i think that's the best way in solo queue is if uh you kind of play what your team needs that way you don't have to rely on them go you know just kind of like so whatever team you're put in no matter the teammates, you always make that team a bit better. And that's like a, a way you can help improve your uh, chances of winning. You wanna floor nade? Yeah, I will. Nothing on the wall. Have a smoke. Go for the wall. He's playing. He's, yeah, he's back on the shield now. He's, he's half full. He's half full. Yo, a Ash, come here. Sure, Is there a shield? He ran from half wall. Didn't break. I got the shield. Oh. We're gonna need to get back on breach. Oh shit. Yo, he's bottom metal. Jesus Christ, get the fuck out of me. That was the guy in break. Hold up, I'm gonna give you a bottom uh, metal cam. Let me know when this guy's about to run out, okay? Get on that cam. Yep. You shot it? No, no, I'm, I'm on it. Uh, just stay alive. We're gonna have to bait for kills here. Can you watch the CC flank? We're gonna have to work for some picks here. How many drones do you have? Bottom metal, bottom metal. I don't have any. He shut the cam. Alright, we're, we're gonna have to like just walk in here somewhere. Yo, just make up make a fuss an armory door, stay out here. I'm gonna go to the 90. Idiot. There's one in the small office. There's one's like one's like Africa top, or top metal. Uh 
Nah, dude. Nice try. Uh, we tried baiting. We just we keep dying too uh, too fast. Oh, we don't. We didn't reinforce. This is gonna be a bit tough. No, oh, no way. Oh my god, we didn't reinforce army walls. Okay. We shouldn't reinforce too many bathroom walls. Us reinforcing all the bathroom kind of limits our ability. They opened up detention. Oh, we reinforced the hatch too. <laughs> Man. Alrighty. Interesting. One's uh, left side of main door. I, I love customs. Going back though. This is a tough angle. They're in an armory, Cap can in an armory. One's downed in small office. Nice. He's dead. Tension heavy. Up to. Sounds like there's one top east. They're not. They're not in arm. Like top army. In armory. We're good here. Are you, are you guys uh, good on site right now? Yeah. Fucking above vent. Okay. Oh, open hatch. Uh, small office hatch. Yo, Buck's in armory, by the way. It's one pass. Me and you have no C4. Capcan, can you make your way back to us? Yeah. Buck dead. Yeah, the upstairs hold. All right. Um, first round was how do we do this? So this one right here, you know, I was just I used the gun six to clear the Wamai gadget because I I wanted to grenade this guy out of there, but uh, he actually died right when I was holding it out. He would have died anyway to my grenade right here. Um, I saw he was pretty holding pretty aggressive, so I the gun six I just used it to uh, get rid of the gadget. All right, so we got first pick. Oh yeah, we just, we stomped our attacks. I'll just go through these quickly because we, we just, um, you know, we outfragged. But as you guys know, we had a 3-0 lead, I believe. <coughs> and we lost all of them. It's because, yes, we were aggressive, but it's not consistent. Um, you might see this, like this kind of 3-0 lead kind of happens a lot in and like you know platinum and below stuff like that i think 3-0 leads often end quicker in like diamond and champion elo because players are a lot more consistent over there but platinum is like where we're getting easy kills and we're i wouldn't say we're getting lucky but it's not the way we were playing is not going to work all the time and we know that on defense so yeah um attack rounds you know kind of breaking down what i was doing you know, their bathroom site, so I want to enter in from Armory. I want to take more of the map control because Border is a very, um, it's a very small map. And as an attacker, you want to take as much map control and vertical you can if they are on a, uh, a first floor site. Because vertical is very, like, the whole map is soft. That's why I went Sledge over Finca. You know, Finca's dumb OP right now. So yeah, uh, you know, after we got all the map control, it's very important that you remember to set your flanks down with cams um i just made vertical site you know vertical pressure and then by the time um you know we have vent ventilation we have all the control that we need here last one i hear is on the rotate so i was like okay i'll hold a grenade um have my you know have my teammates pressure them while i just you know throw the nade and boom got the kill pretty good kill all right second round or third round who did i go here I went to sludge. Um, they went armory a second. Yeah, they went armory again. So we just go for a direct armory take again. Um, this right here. It's good that Osa burned the gate here. 
Um, notice we don't have a hard breacher. We don't have a hard breacher, so immediately I want to switch my plan. I don't want to hang around the armory wall anymore because it's less efficient. There's only one doorway, and all the defenders are pointing their guns. As you guys can see, this guy's pointing a shotgun, and uh, Ella's also here to support. So it wouldn't be very smart to do that, right? You want to find a different way to come in. Um, but since my head teammate's working over here already, I wanted to see if I could work some grenade kills before I go leave. Because some, yeah, I saw this guy playing close, so I was like, okay, this guy's an easy grenade kill. Um, the first nade, I believe, misses because he backed up more. And he backed up. Uh, he actually took some little bit of damage off of that, but... I know, I think I re him again, and I know he's playing. Yeah, I re him, and... So I hear him shoot the shotgun close. That means he's closing the door again, so... I use the grenades again. Time, because, you know, we know he won't expect the second time, and boom. Right into him. So, that was just... That's kind of how... Like, you know, dealing with aggressive players is understanding that... Aggressive players are easier to deal with at times than... You know your average normal player it's because they have a very uh linear pattern of play you know they're always pushing into like the next opportunity and eventually they're going to be unprepared for the next angle they take and that's where you can capitalize on them is predicting their next move if you can and you know punishing them for that otherwise we just steamroll them again so let's move on to our defenses and why they went wrong all right um yeah we went armory i went malusi just you know the huge but notice how we were really aggressive on attack. We're aggressive on defense now, and we got early picks. The way I died, I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to shoot a drone, and then I got caught in the caught in the crossfire. Kind of exposed myself a little bit too much, but got res by a teammate here. Otherwise, you know, look at we're all three. We're all three in armory, and they just they had a better attack than us. Look how much map control they have on the east side. Um, and they're able to all point their ACOGs at us. And we just were in a bad spot here. But uh, round two. Or uh, round two of a defense. It was the same thing. We're too aggressive. We got early picked before they even got in too much. Um, but yeah, I mean, also, yeah, like as we talked about that, the SMG and shock and combo, if you don't know who to go on border. He, the Mute and Smoke are amazing picks because they have the uh, the soft breach potential. Rotates, lines of angles, vertical holes, all that. So my plan here is just, you know, hold up top. You see a lot of the times why do players hold the opposite floor um, if you're a new player? Why do they hold the opposite floor of the bomb sites downstairs? It's just because, like I said, you don't want to give the attackers too much map control or else they're able to set up because... All of their utilities and their drones and all the gadgets on attack um, are designed to um, take map control. That's how they win the, the rounds more. But on defense, as you go higher in the ranks, you will realize it's more important to uh, hold everywhere off the site. That makes any sense. Add more pressure. Um, This one, yeah, like me and... Just the way they, they were attacking... I got one, but we just got smoked on site. Like, I'm dealing with three players up top, and we all died to this one person. I don't, I don't know. We all just died to, like, random stuff. But yeah, this round, it turned into 1v. It wasn't, it wasn't pretty good. All right. Uh, next round, I went Cade. I, I figured, okay, our team is dying very early. So I was like, okay, you know, let's... How about I stay on site this time and, you know, see what's going on? Um, we ended up, yeah, we ended up getting early picks again, and right here was bad timing. I see East is closed off, it's like, okay, I'm just gonna rotate now, okay, I'm good. And then, just extremely bad timing on my part. Um, there's really not much I could have done right there. But yeah, now we're in a 2v5, it's very self-explanatory what goes on. All right, now that we're an OT, everybody kind of woke up now. They're like, okay, we need to play normal. We need to actually try now. Um, you still want to make sure that you're still confident in yourself. You don't want to overdo anything. Don't need to bring out the cast strats. But yeah, this is kind of the, the... This one, we just... 
It was it was that consistency I was talking about. We just outfragged them. We oh, yeah, we ego peaked them and we won the gunfights. That's really it. All it needs to be said. I'm still holding top, but they're not hitting top this time. So I'm like, okay. I get a call that one's in detention, and I know Sledge is at the main door. So I'm like, okay, there's no purpose for me to be up top anymore. The angle I have is very passive. So I figured I might start rotating to east. That way I can help get crossfire this Ayana. Uh, by the time we get down, you know, it's a... Uh, during this time you see me i don't really expose myself too much because i'm playing i'm in a good spot all i need to do is play time i know there's still the banshee it's uh if i die here it's a big throw so me staying alive here is um crucial i tell Cade to let me have first contact first because he's in the same spot in sight and i have you know i'm on the i can delay more time and she still has to plant the bomb so as time windows down more i i hear that there's a bathroom rotate into workshop that means she has a possibility to take a one a one a one-on-one -on -one with uh the Cade here so i'm like okay i need to get closer to help him now he's the one in that needs to have first contact in the way so 20 seconds left Iona's just gonna have to commit to something here so i can i don't have to worry if she's rotating because she only has to come through one way so I get a little bit closer and this was actually really close, but yeah, they had a drone on me. That was, that was not good. That's why she saw me swung me so confidently, but I just won the gunfight here. Had a nice flick on her and yeah, but yeah, just like knowing when to take smarter gunfights. Um, just, you know, if you ever have a habit of over peaking or like getting greedy for the last kill like you know you're supposed to play time but then you over peak and lose the gunfight then you're like ah oh, stupid me just realize at the end of the day you have the same goal get the kill you just have to wait a little bit longer to get it easy just make the kills easy for you you don't need to like unless you have some cracked out in but this round yeah same thing like we just went to a 3v2 v5 it was just like i this is, this is where I don't go into the mode of, oh, my team sucks. This is why I lose solo queue is because my team all dies and I'm all good. No, don't do that. Like, you'll see me throughout this round. Like, I'm still trying like my best. I'm not just like, okay, I'm just going to walk in and get this round over with. I'm still going to try. We, we kind of came close a little bit, but it was just not enough time left, which is the unfortunate part. But we're kind of forced to isolate the picks here. Um, but yeah, like we were trying to see if anyone could paint the breach, but it wasn't enough time. I think we, we just baited too a little bit too long. Here, this guy is extremely dumb. I don't know. Ugh, yeah, I, I heard him walk in, and I know he was sitting right next to me. So, you know, I threw a needle over the top. Boom, you're dead. That was a dumb play with the smoke. Yeah, 20 seconds left. There's not much we could do here, so. All right. Last round, Aruni. I think this was a very crucial round. So in the beginning, you know, I, the reason I picked Aruni as well on a map 4-4 four, four overtime where it means the most. If you don't know, just pick Aruni. Doesn't matter what your play style because she has a DMR or Aruni. Extremely good gun. Extremely good gadgets. Rotates, gates, bulletproof camera. Best solo queue operator in my opinion. I always pick her when I don't know who to go. Um, but yeah, use your bulletproof camera just for anywhere that you don't feel safe holding. Just have the bulletproof camera look at that for them. You know. I uh, see the drone here, so immediately when I shoot this drone, I don't I retreat. I don't like, you know, try to get, take a gunfight. My life is more valuable uh, than trying to go for a one kill. So here, you'll realize, okay, you know, I gave up the spot above the bomb site, but you need to hold your ground. You can't play scared. Um, I'm still trying to, I'm not like committing 100%. Like my risk factor right here is a little bit higher because it's kind of a common angle, but it's still, um, I see that guy. I just try to, like, I immediately disengage from the gunfire. I don't try to like force the kill. I want to make them uncomfortable as uncomfortable as possible when making vertical up top. I want them to worry about us. So that way, you know, my team doesn't get absolutely shredded on site. Luckily, we actually get a, C a Capkin kill here, I think. So 
here i made this angle because it's it's a very sharp turn it's kind of unpredictable as well when they walk into here they're going to immediately pre the door and then you actually see me kill the buck here too so this drone actually might have scoped me out but all right the vertical player got downed but it's still minute 40 you see how i'm not like constantly peeking but like i still check in on the angle here and there so what made me want to push is combining pressure i want to swing them when they feel the most pressured i hear a c4 go off so they're probably like scratch scrambling around right now so i go and push up a little bit so i start holding this angle a bit more and i'm but i'm not committing too much too too long but i still want to keep the pressure up Did, i knew honestly i kind of knew we we're gonna win this round just by how passive the, uh, the attacking team was they're very like scared a little bit i tag ace ace like you know he's he's still worried like they're he's still like they don't have drones it was kind of their fault for not clearing us looks like fink actually tries to backstab us too like look like they're a, a minute left and they have made very little vertical no pressure where did this guy ace he's acing the hash okay well let's go on a third person view here all right capkin does a very good job of killing their backstabber this guy kind of forced it i think what um what crumbled crumbled their attack was just like they weren't working as a team they're like okay like finka tried making a hero play um because they're down man count and just snowballs more and more they're like their win rate just goes down way more so here you know i'm pressuring this buck and i'm kind of making him clear us first okay still going and i'm still patient i'm still holding it see like buck forces it he has, he's, he's pre-aiming the door and i'm holding this off angle and uh i down him boom i'm diamond one by the way <laughs> i hear immediately capkin is i hear the gunshots really close to capkin he's in the fight so i go ahead and help him out i want to get his refrag here and uh, we end up killing him nice and last one is awesome we get the trade boom easy win you can you can tell that the other team was playing scared that round and uh that ultimately led them to lose the game but if you guys are watching this on youtube be sure to like and subscribe for more solo to champion series love you guys leave a like on the video if you enjoyed too i'll see you guys in the next video peace